Yes guys, welcome to a brand new video. My name is Conan and today I'm gonna give you guys the most underrated hack to lose your belly fat. So without any further ado, let's just jump straight into it. So I don't know if you guys can tell or not, but I'm currently at the beach right now. I actually recently moved. So if you guys have been following my journey, which I'll be honest, I haven't really done a good job documenting everything, but I did recently move from Houston, Texas um, down to Florida, specifically Fort Lauderdale. And um, I've been here for a couple of weeks now and I have been absolutely loving it. I'm like 10 minutes away from the beach, clearly here on the beach right now. And um, I've just really been enjoying just the weather lately and just the environment because if you guys have ever been to like Houston before, like it's really like humidy and like sticky and dry. And it's not like a whole lot to do in terms of like adventure or beaches or anything like that. So this is definitely a nice change of scenery. And over the past couple months or so, I have pretty much effortlessly with like no real effort, um, lost a bunch of my body fat. And now was this intentional? Yeah, somewhat. Like I guess still monitored like my workouts, my diet and stuff. But I've done one very simple thing that literally just like melted away my belly fat. And that one simple thing was simply increasing my daily step count. And so if you guys aren't already, I highly recommend to keep track of your daily steps, either through a watch like this, it could be like an Apple watch or one of these Fitbits. Um, I got mine like a couple years ago. My dad actually gave it to me for my 21st birthday, I believe. I think he got it off Amazon for like 50 bucks. It's lasted me for three years now. It's waterproof, so I can actually go swimming in this as well. It's super durable, and it's honestly one of the greatest investments that you could possibly make on your health and fitness journey. I make all of my clients get one of these as well because this makes keeping track of your daily activity so much more accurate and predictable because I see so many people make this mistake of spending hours on the treadmill doing cardio. And sure, they may be burning a bunch of calories during that session. They may burn 200, 300, 400 calories after doing like an hour on the treadmill. But what they fail to take account or what they fail to acknowledge is that yeah, they're burning calories during that time, but what are they doing outside of the gym, outside of the treadmill? Typically speaking, their NEAT, which stands for your non-exercise activity thermogenesis, actually goes down. And so these are all those small little things that you do throughout the day. So by me talking to you right now, by me moving my hands, by me speaking, like living life in general, like I'm burning calories right now. And what you'll notice is that if you do a really intense form of cardio, for the rest of the day, you'll notice that you're a lot more sedentary, meaning that you're on the couch a lot more, you're not as excited anymore, you're not like moving around like you typically would. And so you'll notice that by doing those straight form of cardio, like on the treadmill, on the elliptical or whatever it may be, that yes, you're gonna be burning calories during that session, but then away from that session, the other 23 hours out of the day, you're gonna be pretty much like a zombie doing nothing, right? At least that's what I've noticed for myself, personal experience and with working with other clients in the past before. And so that is why I highly encourage everyone, um, especially if you're super busy with like work, family, school, all this stuff, to instead of like spending hours on the treadmill, simply living a more active lifestyle. And so what I've done personally is like I mentioned, I got this Apple or sorry, Fitbit, and I've just been monitoring my steps and I have just been a lot more active recently. So I'll, now I'm like actively like trying to be more active, whether it's like going on walks in the morning, in the afternoon, at nighttime, or like taking the stairs instead of the elevator or parking a bit further away from work or from the gym, just allow myself to get more steps in, right? Like all these small little things, which may seem like kind of a small deal. It's like, okay, so what? But it's like all these small little things definitely add up to you actually increasing your daily step counts, which will therefore help you burn more calories throughout the day, right? Even stuff like grocery shopping, doing the chores, doing the dishes, all these things add up to burning hundreds of extra calories throughout the day without you really noticing it. And that is one of the biggest things that I've done personally, along with all of my other clients to pretty much lose our body fat. And now with that said though, guys, like you cannot out-train a bad diet. So you have to make sure at all times that your diet is in check, right? So make sure that on top of tracking your daily steps, you're also keeping track of your nutrition, right? So I use an app called My Fitness Pal to keep track of my daily calories. And then I also take progress pictures every single week. And I look at the body weights in terms of like hopping on the scale. And I kind of monitor that. And now if I notice that I'm on track in terms of losing half a pound to a pound a week every single week, then I know that whatever I have been doing over the past couple of weeks clearly is working. So I might as well keep on doing it, right? I always remind my clients of this, but what gets measured gets improved. And so if you're not measuring your progress pictures, your number on the scale, your um, performance in the gym, um, and all these other things like your steps, your nutrition, it's going to be damn near impossible to improve on that, especially when you hit plateaus and plateaus are 
inevitable on your fitness journey. And so just by monitoring things, keeping track of things, is honestly the biggest thing that you can do, especially when it comes to your daily steps and your nutrition. And so a couple of takeaways from this video that you can start implementing right away is that if you're not already, get an Apple Watch, get a Fitbit, or better yet, you can also just use your phone and just have it on your pocket at all times. That can also keep track of your daily steps. Um, it's just a bit unreliable because you won't always have your phone on you whenever, oh, my camera's about to fall. That was a close one. Um, like whenever you're walking or whenever you're running errands and stuff, right? So you always know that you're gonna have this on you, whereas your phone, maybe not as much, right? So that's the first thing. And then look at how many steps you're averaging per day right now. And then if you're noticing that you're not losing the weight you want, you won't have to make any other change for right now at least, and simply just increase your daily steps by maybe 1,000, 2,000, 3,000, and see how your weight fluctuates. If you're losing weight by simply increasing your daily steps by a couple thousand, it's like, boom, there you go. That's all you have to do, right? Don't make changes unless you have to make changes, right? You guys have probably heard this so many times before, but if it ain't broke, do not fix it, right? Like we always like to change things up, especially like as coaches, like it's, it's a really common thing, but again, simplicity skills, keep it simple, don't overcomplicate things. And um, that's basically what I've done personally to get me nice and lean for the summer, right? And now if you need a bit more structure within your current routine, let's say you're super busy right now with like work, all the responsibilities with like your family and stuff, and you just don't want to figure this stuff out for yourself, which I highly, um, like I, 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 I know what you mean, I know where you're coming from. Um, you can actually go in the, um, in the description down below. There's actually a link to book a free consultation call with me. You can fill that out and basically we'll hop on a call, see if you're going to be a good fit for the program, and then we can get you on rolled and get you nice and shredded for the summer. So um, yeah, that'll be linked in the description. If you guys have any questions for me regarding any of this, please drop them in the comments down below and I'll see you all soon. Peace.